Welcome back to Definitely Not Definitive. I'm Ken. And I'm Bethany. And we're just a devilish duo in love that loves reacting to some Devil May Cry. And it's the final part of our Devil May Cry 4. Yes, this is the end of our Devil May Cry 4 journey, but uh, you know, don't be too sad because that just means that we're going to be playing Devil May Cry 5 on the channel later, uh, probably next month. Um, we haven't decided the exact date when, but it's going to be sometime in September. All right. Yeah, so we're going to go ahead and, uh, and start that up. Looking forward to that and looking forward to finishing up Devil May Cry 4. Yeah, we got to find out what happens. Yes, we do. And if you want our full Devil May Cry journey, we start with Devil May Cry 3. Uh, go ahead and check out the description of this video. You destroyed the Hell Gates. No shit. Yeah, it kind of <laughs> tainted the view. <laughs> so, you ready to fight now or what? You travel this far to fight me. Shall we fight? Kill you. Never touch the power of the savior. Sounds like you're overcompensating. <laughs> Besides, I didn't want you to get a creak in your neck for looking down at me. <laughs> what would it take for you to alter your position? <laughs> How about death? Yeah. Zombie is so awesome. Yes, he is. You know that the story is still in the cheap. Mm -hmm. Slick. Mm-hmm. So, you ready to eat your words? <laughs> Do as you wish, your attempts are futile. <laughs> nice. Hmm. The true form must be inside. Uh, looks like it's up to me to take care of ugly hair. Getting Dante. Mm -hmm. There we go. Nice, Nero. Oof. Bit of a rough landing. Mm -hmm. But he's out. Kind of, somewhat. Do you hear me? An opportunity to save the world doesn't happen every day, you know? <laughs> save her. Hmm. Don't worry. 
That's quite a dodge. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Missed me again. I'm gonna get this done. Well, maybe like stop strutting and like mm -hmm. move a bit faster. Get off of me. Shaking things up in here. Hey, kid! You should see what I'm going through. <laughs> Guess we're in the same boat then. Curious. We had originally intended Dante to form the Savior's core. Perhaps it would have been wise to adhere to that choice. Ugh. Too late for her great lovely. Mm. Release Kitty! Keep the eyes of him. Oppose the order. I knew your faith was weak, but I always thought you served our wishes. Bad enough you lying about all this and trying to kill me. But what really pissed me off was using Kitty. Yeah. <laughs> what is that? Love. Look it up. Ooh. Yeah, this holiness guy is no slouch. Not gonna be that easy, Nero. Wrapping things up on my end. Hmm. Don't be too sure, boy. <laughs> Although flawed, the power of the savior is beyond that of which you can Here we go. Yeah. Go, 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 get him. Sweet. That was satisfying. You got the chance this whole boss battle because it is, it is an engaging fight. <laughs> Can't close enough to like doing damage. There you go, finally. Get him again. Use your fist, yeah. Punch him harder. Smash him. Boom. Impossible. Oh, did he cut his head off? I hope so. Or he just slice through him. Because you don't deserve it. Mm -hmm. No, you're not. You could take those legends too literally. Hmm. But I do know that Sparta had a heart. A heart that could love another person. A human. And that is what you lack. This time I will save you. Just hold on. You'll do, Jack. Good. Mm -hmm.
Off to hell with you. Sorry I took so long. Kitty. Just our getting his ass kicked. It's over. <laughs> About time. Mm hmm. Here are landing. <laughs> Took your time. <laughs> what? You looking for an apology? Well, how long am I gonna have to wait for it? What? No, you're dead. This guy just doesn't let it go. <laughs> this is where it started. And this is where it went. By my hand. Alright then. <laughs> go finish it, kid. <laughs> Wait for me. She's a woman of few words. I was about to say, I'm like, you can you can say something, Kyrie, you know? You know, God, I always hated that you made my arm like this. Except times like these. I can destroy this thing. Who would have thought? Hmm. Punch. Rip his head off. He just crushes. Sounds gonna be the same for a while. There's anyone left in that town. <laughs> I guess I should thank you. <laughs> but that'd be out of character. <laughs> Maybe you should just throw an insult my way instead. Yeah, yeah. that sounds better. Mm -hmm. Still, I owe you. Ah, don't sweat it. I had my reasons for helping. <laughs> Take care of yourself. Wait, we need to know. Wait. Yeah. You forgot this.
keep it. What? I thought this meant a lot to you. That's the only kind of gift worth giving. Hmm. I want to entrust it to you, so I am. What you do from here is your call. Hey, Dante. Will we meet again? Observant. I am. I am still alive, right? Yeah. We both are. Kitty A. If I'm a demon and not a human anymore, is this what you want? Nero, you're you, and it's you I want to be with. I don't know anyone who is as human as you are. No. <laughs> okay. Looks like they're determined to interrupt. Guess that kiss is gonna have to wait. It's alright. Always. Right. Hmm. Thanks. Yes. Nero's taste in women is very different from Dante's. Yeah, for sure. Okay, the was lady. You look like you're gone. You're a lifesaver. Now I can finally do my job in peace. <laughs> if it was a lifesaver gig, then don't you think we deserve a little more? <laughs> you call this sincerity? More? Was it not your fault that things escalated to the level that they did? Bringing Sparta into the spotlight? <laughs> now you figure this out, you shouldn't it to you. <laughs> hey, I was just getting to the good part. This is your case too, Dante. Uh, yeah, well, we take what we can get, right? Well, then it's settled. Devil may cry. It's a customer with the password. They're nearby. Hmm. What should we do? <sighs> you need to ask? Can I come along? Do what you want. I don't expect to get paid. <laughs> There's something so exciting about all this. You think so, right? I won't lie. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Come on, babes! Let's rock! <laughs> <laughs> It was a nice shot at the end. Yeah, for sure. So now I think that there was a, uh, at least a Virgil scene I know that we didn't see in this one that uh, we're gonna have to check out before we play Devil May Cry 5. Um, but there's also other scenes maybe from Devil May Cry 4 that we missed um, for some reason that wasn't in this compilation. Usually uh, Gamers Little play Playgrounds is very reliable, but uh, yeah, let us know down below in the comments. But what'd you think about this? Um, I really enjoyed it. Dante mm -hmm. is, is 
even sexier and even more effortlessly cool than he's been before, if that was even possible. Yeah. Um, the one thing that wasn't answered was, what is the exact connection between him and Nero? I mean, we suspected that Nero is his nephew, but mm -hmm. we don't actually know. We don't actually know, but I mean, we've gone back and forth between nephew and son, but like that last scene uh, makes me think of more nephew because... He gave the sword, uh, he gave Virgil's sword to Nero almost as like, you know, if that was like, you know, his, his birthright, like a, a gift, that, yeah. you know, from his, from his father, because that's, the, you know, those are the kind that mean the most. So that's where I'm, I'm landing on right now is uh, he's, he's Dante's nephew. Because Dante wouldn't have a kid. <laughs> but then who did Virgil get frisky with? That I don't know. I don't know who, Vir I mean, because Virgil seemed very anti-human. Yeah. Um, so Dante's the promiscuous one from all that we've seen. I'm curious. I'm very curious. Um, and then so I guess, I mean, did Lady make this big change? I mean, from uh, two or from Devil May Cry three in like the anime or something like that? Because I don't I mean, she looks a lot different than she did in uh, Devil May Cry three. Well, yeah, she's like wearing less for starters. Yeah, for sure. Um, um, and she seems she seems more of like. For a crude term, she seems more like a boss bitch. Like, like she comes in there and she takes charge and like, here's the money. This is all I'm going to offer. I mean, like, she just has a lot more command and authority. Yeah, than for I sure. remember her having. But I mean, she would never like back down from Dante, even though I mean, she was a human and Dante was a devil. She was like, still, she she went toe to toe with him. Oh sure, she was always a strong female character. But yeah. I mean, she seems to have been either granted or she has earned or or has acquired some sort mm -hmm. of newfound status and power that uh, I don't I don't think we we were given an, an explanation as to what that was. Yeah. Uh, I, the Dante scenes were still my favorite in this one. As much as uh, I like Nero and, uh, you know, his character's grown on me more. Um, I mean, Dante taking down all the, the different villains and bosses and especially against the, the, you know, the mad scientist professor Agnes or whatever his name was. Ugh, uh, yeah. That whole scene, that whole theatrical scene um, was just so much fun. Um, and yeah, so what do you like more, Devil May Cry 3 or Devil May Cry 4 so far? I like Dante in Devil May Cry 4. Okay. But I like the strong female presence in Devil May Cry 3. Because mm. Kyrie is... Um, yeah, Kyrie was... She's uh, such a wallflower, I'm sorry. Yeah, uh, she was... Not the most interesting uh, of characters. He was just a sweet girl and, um, you know, sweet and innocent. And, and like, we had Trish, but she was, um, you know, because of Nero, it seemed like her her presence was replaced by the Dante-Nero relationship as opposed to mm. the Dante-Trish relationship. From what I've been told, there's uh, you can play as uh, either Trish or um, Lady in Devil May Cry 4. So there's got to be some scenes in there that was not in this compilation. So, uh if, that, if I'm right about that, let us know down below in the comments and like, you know, link us to some good videos with uh, some, you know, Trish and Lady stuff. And uh, I know that, like I said, there's a Virgil scene we got to check out um, that was in the Devil May Cry 4 Special Edition, which I thought this was going to be because in the title it said Devil May Cry 4 Special Edition uh, cutscenes. But um, yeah, we'll have to see. Yeah. All right. Um, I think for me, I still like Devil May Cry 3 the most. Uh, I just like the whole Dante and Virgil um, dynamic. Yeah. Uh, that it really, you know, I mean, growing up with, with, with older brothers and whatnot, that it kind of always, uh, that kind of spoke to me. Um, and so, yeah, I'm hoping to see uh, Virgil in uh, Devil May Cry 5. That'd, yes. be, that'd be nice. <laughs> yes, I would like him to come back. I also like the villain in Devil May Cry 3 better. Yeah. The, the Arkham and the Jester dynamic, I mean, even though we didn't, you know, the fact that, you know, Arkham was the was the jester, uh, that was cool. And, yeah, I mean, the the holiness one, uh, he was, I don't know, he was, he was all right. I felt like it was a split focus for the villains in this one. Yeah. Like, with Devil May Cry 3, you had a, a singular overriding villain who was a strong presence throughout. Mm -hmm. there, there was a single overriding evil in this being the his holiness, but he was not a strong presence throughout. He just kept like having minions do stuff. And then the, the minions were made to be somewhat interesting characters, like with the evil scientist guy and whatnot. Yeah. But it it almost felt like they were trying to pack too much into this mm. for the for the villain ensemble. Whereas like they lost the focus of having that one who was just True. 
so maniacally evil throughout. True. All right, so if you want more of our Devil May Cry journey, we got a playlist down below in the description of this video. Thanks so much for checking out our reaction for Devil May Cry 4, all cutscenes. This is the finale, uh, but just keep in mind. That our reaction is definitely not definitive.